Most people associate psychedelic mushrooms with hippies or music festivals, but cancer patients? Check out this video. Researchers at Langone Medical Center and Johns Hopkins University have successfully finished a trial testing the effects of psilocybin on cancer patients to reduce their anxiety and fear related to a cancer diagnosis. Psilocybin, the chemical found in psychedelic mushrooms, had an astonishing effect on many patients. Their fear and depression was lifted. I also felt a tremendous connection to everyone I've ever met and known in my life. It was such a, an epiphany for me. The cancer and the friends and the family and the past relationships and the present relationships, they're all together, you know, and they're all connected. I felt that I was bathed in love. I was feeling pure love. The shroom effect has given hope to researchers and peace to cancer patients who had so long been riddled with anxiety. Could this change the way we view psilocybin? About 80% of cancer patients showed significant reduction in stress and anxiety after a single dose. And those results lasted for up to seven months after the fact. Join us to discuss this is psychotherapist, Dr. Mike Dow, because this is... Results, right? Yeah, the, the results are really impressive. And it's not something you're going to use all the time, but I think we need to give people, uh, if you have cancer and you have that dread, that anxiety, and if there's something that we can give you one or two times, does the benefit outweigh the cost? I think in, the, in these cases, they do. Octavian, who you saw in that tape piece, he's a member who underwent um, part of the study. He's joining us now to share some of his experience how, I want to ask you, first of all, Octavian, when you tried this, how did it affect you? And, and not only during the experience itself, but after. When I got the, the, the dosing session, I, had, I experienced a lot of different trips. I had trips in which I uh, actually came to terms with what had happened to me. I had trips where I saw myself from outside of my body kind of, you know, coming out of a hospital where... I imagine I was being treated for the cancer and I was done with the medical treatment. Now it was time for me to finish the treatment by getting rid of the anxiety as well. So I kind of, I, I was seeing myself on a stretcher and there was this black smoke that just came out of me. Once I saw that coming out, I knew my anxiety was over. What's amazing is that with one or two sessions, the brain has a chance to rewire itself. Now, when you compare this to things like benzodiazepines, like Xanax or Klonopin or alcohol, where you need more and more to get that result and it's not going to last, isn't this better? And isn't that amazing that by having that spiritual connection that the, that the effects can actually last? It's so pretty amazing. The potential for an addiction is actually less with this as opposed to the benzodiazepines. I, I believe so. Now, I, I also believe that we shouldn't be giving it out to take not, home with you not from not the pharmacy, right? Yeah. Uh, if you are using it in a hospital setting with licensed professionals in a room that you are observed and you're using it one or two times, I think in those cases there's a lot less risk for well, dependency. And especially in a case where someone's numbing themselves with drugs and alcohol, I think there is a place uh, for this in a, in a controlled environment. I think it's fascinating. I find it interesting, Octavian, that each treatment you you actually do call it a trip. Is is that what your your healthcare providers call it too? I'm not sure if they refer to it as a trip. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's fair to say, Octavian, your journey, your trip, whatever it may be, we're just happy that your symptoms have improved and that your, your health, both physically and emotionally, has, has been improved. We wish you nothing but success moving forward. It's remarkable to me, and I'll throw out the word, there's a new open-mindedness. And I think it's only started over the last few years because we've seen so many people harmed by prescription medications that we we take for granted. Oh, no big deal. Take a... Yeah. They're fine. Yeah, no problem. Benzodiazepines, Valium, Xanax, all that stuff. No problem with all these opiates. But the truth is, if we can find alternatives, why wouldn't we study them? As long as we know it's controlled and we're not gonna harm someone in the process. And a lot of people pray, a lot of people have spiritual yeah. experiences, mindfulness, meditation, hypnosis. Those are, they actually have a similar response in the brain. So you can actually, all of you at home can, can and, and can get this. with another well. activity helping somebody else. Yeah. Incidentally, psilocybin is still illegal in this country. So 
If you just try to go do this on the street, we're, none of us are recommending that. You don't know dosage, you That's may right. do more harm than good, and you could get arrested.